Right, I don't know if you can tell, but it's been 20 hours between this moment and the last moment. Because this intro is so long and I want to find out what happens to I can't that's it, that's that's the guy's name. So I'm not gonna end this episode until I finish at least this intro sequence to the third chapter thing, which is taking forever and this has now become officially the longest video I have ever done, like the longest single video that I have ever done. And if this takes me five hours to get through then it's gonna be a five hour video. Let's hope that doesn't happen because I don't have five hours. Anyway, let's keep going. Ameva Asayorimo Yuamateta. Sonomako Watashtachiwa Kasao Sashinagara Arak. So I I'm just gonna remind myself what the heck happened. Weird woman came up to Yui's store and told her not to go to school on her last day of practice for her a college interview was it? But she went anyway and the old woman got sent to the hospital. Anyway, okay. But I seriously wonder what happened to what happens to Tsukasa and why um the woman's warning Yui about everything. Tsukasa-kun とは他愛もない話でそこそこ笑ったりもしたけどでも私はどこか気持ちなかったかもしれない。得体の知れない恐怖みたいなものがちらついて。いつもみたいに振る舞えている自信はなかった。え、マヘアさん、ハウケイ。シシド。うん。なんかお前顔色悪いぞ。どうかした？あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
女子は言いたいことが言えなくて消化不良になってしまう。シェルシーロさん、ハブン。私は司君と恐怖を共有したかっただけ。司君が一緒に怖がってくれればそれで良かったのに。この時の私は気にするなって言葉が司君の気遣
p.m. It's not that late. It was black outside my window. Okay, fine, it's late, it's late, it's, it's very late. Streaked with lines from the still pouring rain. So you only slept for a few hours. Sonny, for my exam, the weight of what the next day held for me came rushing to my mind. I practiced the interview process with my teachers quite thoroughly, but I was still really nervous. There was still a little time before dinner. My mind swimming, I decided I'd take this opportunity to clean out all the notes and textbooks I wouldn't need tomorrow from my bag. That's, I don't know, the way they say it is a bit weird. I, I, I would have expect, expected the accent on the first syllable. Like how it said in English, but not the, not the second syllable. It's weird. Oh, you must have left it in the school. Oh. Oh, oh my god. Oh, yeah, Wait, so Tsukasa believes in Lucky Charms, but not the Seven Wonders of the School thing. Must be nice because I'm in Japan. Like schools don't really close, and it's like, don't the students do the cleaning afterwards? So that they're, they're like no janitors or anything. Well, you actually no, you will. So you're gonna obviously live through this. But what happens to Sukasa? Okay. あの鉛筆は絶対に明日試験会場へ持って行かなければならないものの一つだっただから私は迷うことなく学校に戻る道を選んだ降りしきる雨の中足元に気を配りながら全速力で走る走っている間ちらりと頭をよぎるのは起き
やっぱり生徒は誰も残ってないみたい Okay, that might be a good thing. My deep side echoed through the deathly silent corridor. The choice of words, oh my god. Ordinarily, the din of other students would drown out noises like this, but every little, but every little sound was coming through crystal clear at this late hour. Mm -hmm. I quickly beelined towards classroom 3 4. さっき亡くなったみたいその天神小学校で放課後校舎の見回りをしていた女の先生が誤って階段から落ちて死んだんだってその日は10月のちょうど今日みたいに雨が降る放課後で時刻はそう夜の7時を過ぎたあたりこの日は吉江さんが出るんだって天神小学校が亡くなってしまったことに気づいていないよしえさんは木更木学園の廊下を見回って歩いているんだよ。Oh, wait, she has a postmortem diary, doesn't she? So, um, I guess, but at least she only appears in October. もう何考えてるのよ、私。七不思議なんで。ガサ君も言ってたじゃない深く考えない方がいいって I guess <laughs> Yay, thunderclap Lightning flash and thunder resounded with, an impeccable with impeccable timing I can read I jumped inside of myself とにかくパッと教室に行ってペンケース取ってこなくちゃ You could have probably got it by now if you weren't talking so much No clothes should show up in a well lit building like this, right? I don't know. I saw this video online and it was like a little balloon like floating by itself. Not, I'm not sure if it was you know, some, the wind or something. I'm not sure if like an ant grabbed it or whatever. But it was just like floating apparently down the corridor. Can ants grab onto balloons? Interesting. Hmm. Actually, no. It, it, it was a helium balloon, so it was floating a little bit, and then if an ant grabbed it, if an ant grabbed it, it probably would have lifted it up anyway. But anyway, that's enough about that. And even if they did, they wouldn't be very scary under all these bright lights. Oh, I, I, I wouldn't be too sure about that. Mm -hmm. I picked up the pace as I continued to head straight for room 3-4. What? 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 それにしても、今日はいつもよりこの廊下が長い感じがする。ただでさえこの廊下で遅刻しそうになるくらいなのに。Okay, maybe it's just the magic making it longer than it is. I continued my brisk walk down the impossibly long hallway towards my goal, jumping every now and again whenever another thunderclap sounded. Right. Kisaragi Academy was comprised of both a middle school and a high school. Oh, just like how my old school in China had like primary school and then secondary school, middle school, whatever, high school, and then uni like combined into one or something. Blah, 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 middle school, middle school, and high school. And this evening it really felt like it was flaunting its massive size. Didn't help that my classroom was in the high school wing, which happened to be past the middle school, making it seem that much further away. いつもは賑やかな場所がこんなにも静まり返っていると余計に物寂しい気がするな。That's that's true, and it's not just for um schools as well. Um, anywhere like after dark or something can be quite like really unnerving. Like the like an E with the lonely um art exhibit thing. I was focusing on the scant few sounds around me as I paced down that long, lonely corridor. 
And all of a sudden, what? <laughs> what? I heard a faint noise as if someone, as of someone playing an organ. Okay. Well, you, ugh, you know what they say about ghosts and organs? They just can't they have a fatal attraction to one another. That's horrible. Ignore Really? I took a deep breath trying to calm my nerves. It was probably the sounds of the rain, wind, and thunder mixing together. It just sounded like an organ, that's all. I was convinced. I kept walking. But then I heard it again, and it was loud and right in my ear. I turned around, and Yoshi was there. <laughs> Seriously? Okay, I heard the same noise again, this time much more clearly, it was unmistakable. I was paralyzed with fear. I can kind of hear it. Oh my god. And I had my. I, I've got my BGM turned way down. My heart was pounding as if it was struggling to break free of someone's sinister grip. Yeah, maybe. Just keep telling yourself that. Thinking about it, I vaguely recalled someone mentioning an, up an upcoming performance by the Wind Instrument Club. I guess an organ would qualify. Wait, that, doesn't that fall under keyboard though? I think. I'm not sure. Because an organ is like a piano but with wind instead of strings, so. Somebody must have just stayed late to practice, that's all. Yeah, just. I took another deep breath and tried again to calm my overly jittery nerves. How are you still not at your classroom yet? Oh my god, my microphone! It's so scary! Oh my god, it's like you know, little, little like holes on the thing. And a laptop. And like. Oh my god, a window! Oh, okay. Okay. That was on purpose, but anyway, yeah. Um, I I I I'm not sure. Um, a window could be that scary, unless you see someone reflecting off of it, and it's not you, and it's just staring over your shoulder, staring into the window along with you, and then it puts a hand on your shoulder, and you feel it, and you turn around. There. Anyway, um, I heard that if you let your imagination run too wild, fear can even make you see things that aren't there. Like ghosts. And stuff. And my imagination was most definitely running wild. I decided to dash towards my classroom so I could get out of this hall as quickly as possible. Oh my god, that just stopped. Never mind. Finally reaching that familiar door, I swiftly opened it and flicked on the lights. <sighs> and what are the chances that it's not gonna be here? Thanks to all my unexpected pauses to freak out over thunder and lightning, it took me far longer than it should have to get here. It was already well past seven. And nothing's happened yet. Which is a good sign, I guess. It was the appointed time when the ghost of a teacher was supposed to appear, at least according to the school legend. <laughs> well, is the sound of an organ part of your school legends as well? Because if not, then you're safe. If it is, you're screwed. And how is it half an hour already? I let out a sigh of relief and relaxed my shoulders a bit. The lights were on both inside the classroom and out in the hallway. Sure, it was still dead silent, but the fear I'd been feeling had completely melted away. Hmm. Oh, whoops. Yeah, there's nothing to be afraid of, the seven ones aren't real. Okay. But isn't one of them like an, an anatomical model that moves? So we found that in um, Heavenly Hosts um, in the fifth chapter. I grabbed the pen case I come back for and shoved it into my pocket. Yay, with my long ordeal behind me, more or less. I mean, you still need to get out, but okay. 
I looked around the classroom and let out another sigh. I'd only ever known this classroom when it was bustling with activity, and thus found its eerie silence and utter stillness to be oddly fascinating. I got the idea in my head to try doing something I normally w wouldn't be able to, like standing at the teacher's podium and writing on the blackboards. <laughs> Bit rebellious, aren't we, Yui? I mean, you just stay off to school and do all of that as well. You don't have to come back at like some haunted witching hour and do it. To me, the area behind that podium from which teachers, from which teachers conduct their lessons, was like a sacred space. I dreamed of standing there myself one day and could hardly resist this pull when presented with a rare opportunity like this. And then Yoshi is gonna appear behind you and that like, boo. To my classmates, this would seem like such a silly, stupid dilemma. But that didn't change the way I felt at the moment. Why not? Why not? I decided I had to try it. During daily cleanup and such, I'd come and gone from this spot countless times. But this was the first time I'd ever had an opportunity to just stand here and preside over the classroom. Gaining a teacher's point of view in the most literal sense was starting to get me really fired up. It may seem silly now, but this is my stage. This is where all my dreams would play out. Oh yeah, it, it is. Mm -hmm. I began to imagine the future that awaited me. Get out of the school before you do that, maybe. Painstakingly detailing some new piece of knowledge for students sitting attentively at their desks. Gliding chalk across the board, filling it with information to aid them in their studies. Mm -hmm. I was getting so excited that even I began to think of my think my behaviour was a little strange. Maybe it was just the just maybe it was the juxtaposition of these joyous free freeing visions and the pricking dread I'd been feeling up until just a minute or two before. But then in the blink of an eye, one of these two conflicting emotions emotions completely overpowered the other. <laughs> right. Okay. What the heck? Suddenly my surroundings were bathed in darkness. Going stiff with shock, I stumbled back a step. My back struck the blackboard with a dull thud. God. Oh God. I instinctively grabbed hold of the rail where, they, where the eraser sat. I felt chalk dust against my fingertips. My panicked heartbeat was making it difficult to breathe. Was this caused by the thunderstorm? If so, it sure picked a fine time to turn the lights out on me. Oh god. So it's not just the background music. Oh, no. Was this what the old woman was trying to warn me about? That's impossible. She was no fortune teller or psychic, as far as I was aware. How could she possibly have known this would happen? Well, even if she were a fortune teller or a psychic, predicting the future is the stuff of science fiction. I shook my head. Wait, I want to sort of go back and um, choose the other option, but save and... Ah... Uh... Oh, how far is the music room from your classroom anyway? Have you thought about that? I curled my chalk duster fingers into a fist and silently tried to talk some sense into myself. I shouldn't have been playing teacher. I should have been in and out by now. Exactly, yeah. Cursing myself a little, I fumbled my way through the darkened classroom. Well, maybe if we went out early, something could have, I don't know, got you. I spent so much time in here, you'd think I'd be able to find my way out of it with my eyes closed, as it were. 
but sadly that wasn't the case. Smashing loudly into her desk, I knocked it, I knocked it on its side and began tumbling after it, instinctively grabbing at other desks around me for support. Oh no. Oh no. Still fumbling around blindly, I gathered up all the scattered notes, textbooks, and writing utensils. I let out a sigh. I seem to be doing that a lot lately. I was trying to take inventory of all the things I knocked out of the desk and then realized why. I might as well just stand it up and stuff it all back in. Hmm, probably. Not that that was a pl particularly pleasant prospect. Stop giving me tongue twisters! Explaining what I'd done wouldn't be easy, and no matter how I sugarcoated it, it would serve as a clear indication of my clumsiness. If I didn't say anything, it's not like I'd be found out, but that would be the same as lying, as far as I'm concerned, and I couldn't do that. <laughs> I placed my hand against the floor and swept it around, feeling for, for anything I might have missed. And I found something alright. Uh, what? I clearly brushed my fingers across something. Ectoplasm? But I had no idea what. It was no notebook or writing implement, though that's for sure. Maybe it's a slime. Maybe I've been on the floor all along. Yeah, maybe. I'm gonna call ectoplasm. I run my sticky fingertips a bit deeper into the wet sp <laughs> God no. And then brought my hand up close to my face so I can get a better look at what was there. That's either ectoplasm or the other thing that I'm not gonna say. What on earth did I just touch? Ectoplasm? There was a flash of lightning almost immediately followed by, uh, joined by a roaring thunderclap. And with it, for a split second, the pitch black classroom was bright, lit up bright as day. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, does that mean you're suddenly in Heavenly Host now? I shot to my feet, utterly mortified. In that split second, I'd forgotten a, I'd gotten a very good look at my fingers, and it really did seem as though they were covered in blood. But it wasn't just my hand, no. If my peripheral vision were to be trusted, it looked like the entire classroom was stained a deep dark crimson. So Why? And what was the other option? I wanna sort of go back and pick the other option. Without thinking about away from where I'd been crouching. I tried rationalizing what I saw. How could a whole classroom become a bloodbath like this? Did something spill? Did someone stumble and hit injured? So not my whole body was quaking. I fled from the classroom. Or rather, I tried to... Oh, no. Oh, what the hell? Anyway, I pulled on the door handle again and again in a frenzy. It looks like one of those things you slide, so like I was pulling so hard I I was pulling so hard it felt like my fingernails might tear loose. But it just wouldn't budge. <laughs> oh god. Whoops. I was absent mindedly grabbing at my hair with one hand and slammed my fist on on a nearby desk with the other. This is a nightmare. You shouldn't have gone. Silence saturated the in inky blackness of the room. And then maybe you're gonna like open the door and it's gonna be Heavenly Host instead of Kisaraki. I took several deep breaths in an effort to restrain my pounding heart. Mm. Mm. 
わけのわからないものが落ちてるだなんて。うん。I'm certain that when I saw what it actually was come morning, it ended up being something totally random, like someone's old soda stained gym clothes. Does that even happen? きっとそうだよ。うん、そうだ。指についたのだって美術に使う絵の具かもしれないじゃない。Yeah, that's all you e always trying to rationalize the unrationalizable. My imagination was just running wild because I was panicking. もしかしたらどうに何かが挟まってた開かないだけかもしれない。Like strands of Sachiko's hair? I decided to check out that hypothesis by feeding my way across the door. And determining if anything was jutting out from any of the cracks. I fumbled across, around the gaps in the door, but I just couldn't make anything out that way. Really? I mean, if you know your classroom, then you can always smash the floor, but that might have implications like things the next day. Not sure. No. This was the third floor. I couldn't get out of here without exiting into the hallway. Hmm. Still at a loss, I noticed a sudden flash of light through the hallway window. But the glass was only translucent, so I couldn't be sure of its source. Oh no. Then there came the distinctive clomp, clomp, clomp of footsteps. Are you, are, are you sure? It could be Yoshie. I recall the existence of a custodian who, who always patrolled the school grounds. I'm sure he was probably taking a look around after the sun power outage. It might be Yoshie with a twisted, with the twisted neck. All at once, my fear addled legs regained their strength. This nightmare could soon be over. Oh no. I shouted to the custodian at the top of my lungs through the window. I had to be sure he heard me. I shouted again. Finally, I could see the light out in the hallway again, and it seemed to be getting closer. However, perturbed, I took a step away from the window. Is it blue? Like the faint, unearthly glow classically attributed to spirits was what I was thinking. I tried to stop myself from finishing that thought, however. Dullness aside, it also looked like it was wriggling around in a very unnatural, very unflashlight, unflashlight like way. Four seconds and then a three or so second interval and then another four clumps. They were sounding in a fixed rhythm. Oh crap, it is Yoshi, isn't it? And then suddenly her twisted neck is gonna press up against the door and then suddenly everyone's gonna get a jump step. I'm calling that right now. <laughs> Oh uh, no, poor Yuri. The fear was back in full force. The power of suggestion, the power of suggestion is OP. I had to find somewhere to hide. What if I accidentally summoned something inhuman? I mean, whatever that was, I begged it for help. I literally invited it in. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna try and look for the. Yeah. Let's try the supply locker first. I, hur I hurriedly squeezed myself into the metal locker where the classroom cleaning supplies are kept. It was still pitch black in the room, so I really couldn't spare the time it would to remove its contents. Instead, I just contorted myself to fit. Is that a good idea? The locker was thick with the smells of mold and varnish. ここで息を潜めていればきっと見つからないよね 
So I waited. I waited for the footsteps to pass by and fade into the distance, signaling, signaling that it was safe to emerge. It's gonna open the door, isn't it? Still, it felt a lot safer here um, in the locker, in the locker than it did out in the room. But the footsteps weren't receding; they were just getting louder, closer, faster. What? And then they came to a sudden halt. Yeah. They were close, just outside the locker. I peered through the ventilation holes amidst the utter darkness of the classroom. There wasn't a soul. There wasn't a soul to be seen. Yeah. I'm not sure why I believe that. Maybe because I needed to. Maybe because it was so dark, or because I felt so much calmer in such a tight space where nothing could possibly sneak up behind me I didn't know why and I didn't care I just knew that as far as I was concerned I was safe in here so I stood motionless and cramped and I waited I didn't have to wait long oh no suddenly apprehensive I gently nudged the supply closet door just to make sure it was still open for me when I wanted it to <laughs> Oh no. Jump scare. I let out a sudden yelp at this unknown voice and tried with all my might to push open the door, blocking my escape. Oh, uh, hi Yoshi. That is loud. Uh, there was just there was a brief moment of silence following the eerie voice un voice unsettling proclamation, and then jump scare. Oh no! The metal walls around me on all four sides began warping inward as if the supply locker had somehow been fed into a trash compactor. Oh no! There was no force I can imagine that should have been able to do this, but it was happening. This already confined space is steadily closing in on me. Oh no. The collapse of the locker all around me continues slowly and steadily. I can feel all manner of things pushing and cutting into my body on it. Oh no. My vision went bright red when the blood vessels in my eyes probably burst from the pressure. I wasn't going to much, last much longer. The ventilation holes in the locker doors were now pressed right up against my face, and through them I could just barely make out the figure of a person. It was the old woman from this morning. What? She was just standing just outside the slats, staring right into my eyes. Oh no. It was the last sight I would ever see as the locker finally inevitably smashed in my skull. I don't know. <laughs> You. Uh, is it weird that I like the wrong end of music? It's not really um interesting. Okay, so we're gonna we ha we need to hide in the teacher's podium. Yeah, why not? Yeah, right. Let's reload that. I wonder what would have happened if we'd gone out of the classroom. Right, okay. We're going to try and choose the teacher's podium. I hurriedly hid myself beneath the teacher's podium. I grabbed my knees, curled up, and made myself as small as I could. The footsteps continued to draw nearer and nearer. Little by little, the sound grew louder. Every hair on my body was standing on end. Mm. I held my breath, clasped my hands together, and silently prayed. Well, we know that this is the right option because the other one was death. But are you going to open the door or are you going to pass by? You're close now, very, very close. Why was this happening? 
I couldn't make any sense of it. I just wanted it to be over. I prayed to God that it would end. Was this what the old woman was trying to warn me about? Was this all happening because I ignored her? Because I didn't take the paper doll from her? Was it because I'd heard the ghost story of Yoshie and allowed it to get to me? Or did the strange events of the day have nothing to do with what, with what was happening to me now? Actually, this is interesting because, um, saying, um, thingy is a manifestation of feeling. The, um, the soul is a manifestation of feeling. So maybe it takes your emotions and it just spits it right back at you. So if you believe in the legend, then it would happen. Like a sort of a self-fulfilling kind of thing. But if Yui didn't let the stories get to her, then maybe nothing would have happened. Maybe if she, if she just got out and like left, then maybe nothing really would have happened. Because in the end, it's all about emotions and like how strong your emotions are. And now it's like using her own fear to get to her. I'm still holding my breath. I didn't dare let even the tiniest of sounds escape and give away my position. Yay. No. Yeah. Well, it's not, at least it's not a... Now it's, now it's more um, rhythmic and steady and maybe... um. Maybe she doesn't have a clue. <laughs> what? Did it, did it stop outside the door? The consistent rhythm of the footsteps suddenly ended halfway into one of its cycles. Huh? And it had ended right in front of this very classroom. She should not have shouted. Oh, <laughs> uh, I knew it. I have goosebumps up and down my arms and legs. I stopped praying and clasped my hands over my mouth. I knew I'd scream if I didn't. Could this be Yoshie? Was the school legend real? Does it have a twisted neck? <laughs> so if it does, then uh, yeah. What I could do is close my eyes, keep my mouth shut and hope that whatever or whoever or whatever this was would just go away. But the footstep sounds didn't start again. If this was indeed Yoshie, then she'd stomped. She'd stopped in front of the classroom and was just standing there. I had no concept of time anymore. Hey, when did you start travelling at the speed of light? I stayed in my hiding spot for what was probably only a few minutes, but felt like at least an hour. I decided to carefully peek out from under the podium. Well, did you hear the door open? If you didn't hear the door open, then it's probably fine. I gingerly edged my head out just far enough to get a glimpse of the room when suddenly... Oh god, it's the footsteps again. The footsteps rang out once more. It sounded like they were headed right for me, and they might have been inside the room. I honestly couldn't tell. I scrambled back and up to my hiding spot and covered my mouth with both hands. <laughs> Stop panting. This was too much for me. My breathing was coarse and erratic, and my face was a mess of tears and snot. That was inconsolable. The footsteps just wouldn't stop. What on earth were they doing? It almost seemed like they were running around in circles just to scare me. Oh, whoops. whoops. I mouthed these words over and over again and moved my hands to my ears in a vain attempt to block out this torturous sound. And as if in response, the sound changed. So maybe it is manifesting your emotions, Yui. Maybe it is what it's doing. Maybe that is what it's saying. <laughs> it was a loud, dull sound, followed by silence. No more footsteps. I'd heard that sound hundreds of times before. Before, it was the classroom door sliding open. Oh no! I peeked out, but the door was still tightly shut. How could that be? If the sound I heard wasn't the door, then what was it? <laughs> was there a back entrance? What little safety I felt here was pretty much gone, but to be fair, I wasn't absolutely certain the spirit had seen or heard me either. 
The prospect of slipping out in the, the open wasn't a desirable one, but I had to decide if it was better to stay where I was or to make or to make a break for it. Oh no, I seriously don't know. Oh. Oh. 64 slots. I don't know. Um, It might find me. I'm going to make a break for it. Staying in one place for too long seemed like it would be inviting trouble. So I took a deep breath and reluctantly crawled out as quietly as I could. But almost immediately I felt something. Oh no. Something long and thin had struck me in the back of the head. Or perhaps struck isn't the right word. There was a little force behind it, but it wasn't a hard slam. More like someone trying to get my attention. What? I knew I wouldn't like what I was going to see, but I had to face whatever this was, so I turned around, and there, look, look, looking over me was... Jump scare! Oh crap. Is somebody here? Oh no. Uh, go. A figure was peering down at me from above the podium with one emaciated wishbone-like finger extended towards my face. So it poked you. I recognised this person instantly. No doubt about it, this is the strange old woman who supposedly passed away earlier. <laughs> I was scared out of my mind. I tumbled the rest of the way out from under the podium and shot to my feet. <laughs> a ghost. There really was a ghost in this school. My breathing was ragged and my heart was pounding so hard I thought it might explode. Wait, so it's not Yoshie then? Or is she Yoshie? No, but Yoshie definitely died, so... I know. Plowing through all the desks in my way. Maybe her spirit aged. I ran as fast as I could towards the classroom door. But that was as far as I could go. Oh no. Oh no. There in the open doorway was the same old woman emitting a bluish white glow. This was the source of the light I'd seen through the window earlier. Oh no. But how in the world did she get to the door before I did? Uh, she's a ghost? Oh no. I felt like I was starting to hyperventilate and tried to, as best as I could to calm my breathing as my eyes started about the room. I need to get out of here now to get as far away from this place as I possibly could. So you did have a back entrance, so she came in through the back entrance. Uh. I bit my lip and continued scanning the room. It sounds like another dead end. I didn't have time to think carefully about it, I just had to grab something and hope for the best. There were two choices and I had to pick one on impulse before it was too late. Oh no! Salt! 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 Salt is usually good against spirits. Room so just like go through it. And that was a 10 second timer, oh my god. I heard that salt was used in purification rituals, yes, so it seemed like a natural choice, yes. I placed the salt in my pocket as a sort of protective charm. When I looked over, the spirit of the old woman was holding her out her hand from the other side of the door frame. Open the door, let her in, and then go through the back exit. That could work. She really was trying to catch me. I wasn't just being paranoid. She was going to kill me and turn me into a ghost like her. I was convinced. This had to be Yoshie, the teacher from that urban legend. Wait, maybe her spirits did age, but why would she be warning you? But no, she wasn't. Unless the... No, but other people could see her. Um, other people could see the woman. Like, the EMT team could could um see the woman and they treated her. So, that, that that's no way that's Yoshie. Bracing myself, I darted towards the door at the back end of the classroom. There wasn't a moment to lose. If I didn't act fast, I probably wouldn't be able to act at all. Go, go, go. I threw the, 
I threw the door open and just began running at top speed, hoping to escape behind the spirit's back. Unsurprisingly, trying to outrun a ghost proved to be a fruitless endeavour. The spirit saw me and moved at breakneck speed to intercept. Oh no. Don't come any closer as that Yoshika's um, thing from Toho. Daddy, I thrust my hand into my pocket and withdrew the bag of salt and threw the entire thing directly at the old woman's face. Yes! Yes, I ran down the hall as fast as my legs would carry me, briefly glancing over my shoulder after a moment to confirm that the spirit was still writhing. Yes! Spirits are like slugs, you sprinkle salt on them and then watch them screw themselves over. I just kept on running down that dark hallway with nothing but adrenaline and multiple fear to keep me going. I reached the cell at the end of the hall and made a mad dash towards ground level. I was determined to get out of this building alive. Maybe at least listen to what she has to say. Maybe it's not killing you. Maybe it's like, stop, you forgot your... Something, you forgot your hair band. I don't know, you forgot your purse. Uh, that was a Scooby Doo reference. If anybody watched that episode, um, what's the new Scooby Doo? That Greek one with the center. <laughs> that one, that was, oh my god. That the Greek gods shall put chaos into your lives or something, and it's actually, I'm trying to return your purse. Anyway, finally, still moving at top speed, I reached the window door leading outside. <laughs> Luckily, the malevolent spirit hadn't caught up to me yet. It actually seemed like I might be able to escape. I might actually survive this. Maybe the front door's gonna be locked. I grabbed the handle, tried pulling it. And there we go. Maybe, maybe, maybe you just have to time it out. Like, you know. It's Toho, right? it's... it's Toho, it's you versus the school. The ghost is like an ultra fast bullet and this is a timeout spell card. You just need to time the whole thing out. Oh no. Oh no. You don't have anything to break the glass, but break the glass. Oh no. Putting down my thoughts in order, I came to the sudden realization that I was right near the umbrella racks. Oh yeah! Unless the spirits had taken it or something, my umbrella should still have been right where I left it. I practically tackled the rack, grabbing my umbrella in one, sif one swift motion, not from the handle, mind you, but from the top. Then, taking aim at the glass part of the door, I swung as hard as I could, striking it dead center with a sturdy plastic handle. <laughs> Is that gonna work though? The glass wasn't gonna break so easily, of course, but it did crack, giving me the um, impetus I needed to go in for a second hit. <laughs> oh, impetus I needed to go in for a second hit, yeah, yeah. Come on, Yui. Again and again, I struck the glass. I had the umbrella grip so tightly that the metal skeleton of the canopy was leaving indentations on my skin. Well, that happens easily. I mean, if I press my elbow too hard against my laptop, then it would like indent. I was sure there had to be a better way to do this, but I didn't have the luxury of time to figure out what it might have been. What the What? <laughs> Change your idea, run! I began smacking the glass even harder, even faster. My hands were killing me, but this is my only hope of survival. Finally, after far too much effort. <laughs> Yay! The glass shattered onto the floor, making one hell of a sound. Tepid air whooshed in from outside. It was still pouring rain, but I was free now, free to escape this hellhole. <laughs> Are you gonna go out and suddenly, like, and suddenly like painted or, or what? The paint I'd broken was on the lower half of the door, and I didn't care if I cut myself. I got down on my hands and knees and like crawled like mad. Famous last words. I felt triumphant for a brief moment. The fear was gone, and I was asking in my victory over this malevolent entity. Brief moment. Brief moment. 
But it didn't last long. Before I was even halfway through the door, I felt something coiling itself around my arm. With a start, I looked back. Oh my freaking god. This is definitely my thumbnail for this. Oh my god. Oh my freaking god. There's the twisted neck. There's Yoshie. Oh my god. We should have ran somewhere else. Oh god. Oh no. This wasn't the ghost, but. Oh no. A tall shadowy figure had appeared behind me in the entrance and she had me in her grasp. So the old woman really was trying to warn me. There wasn't much more to her than an indistinct flickering silhouette. But I could clearly see that she had a broken neck. Was this a different apparition? Her scraggly root-like fingers were squeezing my arm with tremendous force, pushing aside muscle and tissue, and pressing right on the bone. Of her. That was Yoshie. I was shaking hysterically and tears were streaming down my face. I was absolutely convinced that I was going to die here. Uh, ooh, maybe I can use the red glowy eyes from um thingy from Seiko um and then add it to this. Maybe that could work. I don't know. We'll see. Let go of it. Okay. No. 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 Oh, she's looking for her daughter. That's why she's wandering around. Because the principal killed um Sachiko in the school. So she's just looking around, looking for, um, like, wondering, and looking for her daughter. Yeah. Something, something about bleeding. Uh, I could offer no resistance, she was too strong, and yeah, just bleeding, uh, hurting me, okay. I felt like my arm would snap in two at any moment. Oh god. She wasn't just grabbing, but twisting as well. Pain was unlike anything I'd ever experienced before. I couldn't think about anything else. My mind was absorbed by the unconscious, by the unconscionable agony. <laughs> Why would the woman kill us in the first dead end if all she wanted to do was warn us? Stop. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Wait, was that the right choice then? I thought my arms were about to stamp off, and then all of a sudden I was whisked away. Whisked away by Sukasa. What? What? Sukasa was still holding onto me tightly after saving me from the brink of death. He led me back into the school at an incredible speed. Okay. Oh god, he, he, he really reminds me of Satoshi now. I can sort of see how you can kind of confuse the two. He practically, he practically spit these words as he continued running. Mm -hmm. I tried to match his gait and once we were a bit more in sync, I looked up at his face. After we reached the end of the hall, he suddenly veered me into the last classroom before the stairwell, pulling me in with him. I veered into it and then pulled me with him. <sighs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Are you okay? That was tiring. That was somehow really tiring. Okay. Okay. I moved away from Tsukasa and almost immediately spilled onto the ground like a house of cards. Oh, whoops. Uh, I have to keep going, I have to keep going. If I ended the episode here, you guys would probably kill me for, for the cliffhanger. But yeah, um, let's get that and then Tsukasa grabbed my arm to help me up. Unfortunately it was the arm Yoshi had been Yoshi had been twisting. So you realize it was Yoshi. Don't worry. Oh. Oh. 
She gave me like one one heck of a Chinese burn or Indian burn or whatever. I'm gonna call it Asian Asian burn. I draped my other hand over the sore spot where I assumed there was probably one hell of a bruise. I started rubbing gently, but it didn't help at all. Ooh, ghost bruises are the uh, most annoying. So, yeah, just thinking about going back out there and facing Yoshie made me shudder. I couldn't believe that he was even entertaining the idea. Uh, but what happens? What happened to you at the end? I'm so curious. Tsukasa's gentle reassurance actually made me forget the pain in my arm for the moment. I had to stop myself from blushing, or try to, at any rate. The nurse is in, um, and she grabbed thingy near the entrance and stuff and things. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna put this on fast forward. Somehow my hand's getting tired by doing nothing. Scuss over me his hand, and I graciously took it, squeezing it tightly as he led me back out into the hallway. Are you... Are you in league with them? Despite the fact that nothing had really changed, I was still... In terms of the trainer, I had to... Oh. The paralyzing fear I'd been feeling was gone. Because Sukasa was here, yay. If it were just me, I would never be able to do this. I would have frozen up, but with Sukasa's uh, leading the way, I felt like I could do anything. Shishido, Okay, with my blessing, Tsukasa... Oh, okay. Tsukasa upped his pace significantly. Mm, I prayed silently for smooth sailing as I followed Tsukasa's lead. Because love and reassurance and the presence of other people. I gently squeezed his hand again as if to reassure myself that he was still with me. I was starting to think maybe Yoshie was gone, maybe we'd thwarted her. But of course, just as thinking that she made a presence known again. Yay! <laughs> it's a really deep monkey. <laughs> no, don't. Scassa, what the hell? An, un an unearthly voice reverberated through the dark corridor. I immediately drew myself into Skasa's back. What? Oh, children. Oh, sorry. Oh, no. Over Skasa's shoulder, I saw the same shadow-like spirit from before. Oh, man. I kind of like her version in the, um, in the last game. Because um, it was all twisted, and oh my god, it was so... It, it, it felt more threatening. It must have been waiting here to ambush us. Uh, oh god. The ghost was moaning and wavering before us, we'd never been be able to get past it. You sound like a broken record player, except that um except this isn't such um such a Satoshi. There are too many people oh, named Satoshi. Shishido. There are too many people named Satoshi, like that Pokemon guy, and this Satoshi, and the Higurashi one. Oh my god. This is how he disappears. Oh god. So while he's distracting her, he probably, um, she probably took him into the other school, like, heaven, into Heavenly Host, and then he must have, like, died there or something, and Yui just thought, he disappeared or or something oh man mm -hmm. really you're 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 bluffing you're bluffing oh my god she's gonna be like a super 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 
Oh, like those charms we keep finding all over the place that shatters and saves us from like one attack. Those things would work because Yuka's speeds um worked. It saved us from such calls. Don't trust that. Oh no. We really didn't have time to be arguing. I was closing in fast. And as it did, I noticed the, I noticed the spirit's figure had become more defined. She was a tall young woman with her head turned sideways at a 90 degree angle. Uh, the tale of Yoshie suggests she fell down a flight of stairs, so a broken neck could certainly fit. Oh, no. He gave me a, he gave my back a shove to get me started, and with no time to object, I unconsciously obliged. Sukasa ran too, darting ahead of me for a few short moments. Oi, Oh god. Sukasa ran as close as he possibly could to get Yoshie's attention, then turned tail and began sprinting off in the opposite direction. Oh no. Amazingly, it worked. The spirit began chasing Sukasa, leaving me completely on the I was torn. On the one hand, I knew this was my best chance, but I couldn't help worrying about what would happen to Tsukasa if his charm failed. I stopped for a moment and glanced over my shoulder. He was still, he was still running, and the shadowy figure, figure was still in hot pursuit. That is really famous last words. Just, oh my god, I still can't believe what was... Wait. I still can't believe I fell for it, but this was right about when I realized the truth. It's because I had no protective charm. He just made that up so I wouldn't object strongly to him serving as decoy while I got away. Ah, uh, so it was a bluff. Oh good, that wasn't a choice. Oh my god. I, I didn't I wouldn't have wanted to choose um there. I stopped in my tracks and shouted out at the top of my lungs. I wasn't sure exactly what I was getting myself into, but I had to do something, and calling the spirit's name definitely seemed to have an effect. All at once, the black figure was facing me. Though I never saw her turn around, she was flying toward me now, ignoring Tsukasa. I repeated this like a sutra and stuck one hand into my pocket, rustling tightly onto the one and only item I stashed there. Oh yeah, the pencil? Skasa's care, his effort, his beliefs, they're all packed into this pencil. And when you get right down to it, that's what a charm is, right? I guess, it's just like emotions and belief, it's like a fear as well, but like the opposite of the thing. I squeezed the nubby little thing in my pocket. Mentally preparing myself for the confrontation ahead, the confrontation I had impulsively initiated. Really getting into this. It's like when I say silent, I'm either getting into this or I don't know what to say. Um, one or the other, but I'm kind of really getting into this. I closed my eyes, lifted my hand from my pocket, and ran into Cousin's pencil intently. The gauntlet had been thrown. I, I felt I was putting a lot of faith into this, and I really, really hoped I hadn't made a mistake in doing so. <laughs> I opened my eyes to find that the shadowy spirit, Yoshie, had stopped dead in her tracks. Did it work? Oh my god. Was Kaz's pencil keeping this vengeful soul at bay? <laughs> Oh god. Suddenly I was whisked off my feet and slammed against the ceiling. Oh yeah, because she really likes the school so she can't stand a replacement or something like that. I could see him down below, he was staring up at me and desperately leaping, he was trying to catch me I suppose, even though he knew he'd never reach. I called out to him over and over again in my mind. If, I, if, if he could get away, if he could survive this ordeal, then, then it would all have been worth it. 
Your shell was drawing near, and I was helpless. And I was helplessly pinned to the ceiling. I had no chance at all. There was no doubt in my mind that my life was over. I clung to the、um, relief I felt as a sense of safety. It was the only thing keeping me from losing my head entirely. Funny you should say you are losing your head, given given that um her head's like that, etc. Then all at once the situation took a complete one eighty. It was like a miracle. What happened? Shinozaki Yoshi. Ah,、uh, so the old woman was trying to protect us. Before I had any idea what was ha- what, what was happening, I found myself bathed in a gentle light. Obachan, mamote yaren de suban na. Semete kore ijo. Again, why would she kill us in the supply closet then? Or was that Yoshie is doing? Ah,、uh, Yoshie probably squished us, and then the woman was just up there, so she didn't actually kill us in the supply closet. But that was Yoshie. That explains everything. It was the old woman who who collapsed in front of my house. She was standing down below me, enveloped in a warm glow. <laughs> The black shadow lunged towards her. Then there was a horrific noise, and the old woman was, was gone. Sister,、mm. mm. what's going on? And who was that? Was that was that like Sakasa? Oh, maybe that was Sakasa's grandma or something. And just like that, I fell to the ground. Whatever Yoshi had done to me, the old woman must have nullified it. That must mean why she came to me this morning and why she had come again now. I felt like I was going to faint. Sakasa ran to my side and gently scooped me off the ground into his arms. Yoshie's spirit was gone; she'd vanished along with the light around us now. Light around us now. The only sound was the pitter patter of raindrops on the school roof. Oi, sister, sister! Oh my God! Sakasa.、Uh, oh my God! I suffered quite a bump on the head from my fall and was decidedly disoriented. But I still had enough sense to put my arms around Sakasa's neck. Baga, you did not say that. Sorry. But I wanted to protect you. I couldn't bear the thought of losing you. Is what I wanted to say. But instead, I just passed out in his arms. Right. I felt as though I was waking from a long, horrible dream. Oh, it's okay. Oh, hi. Did your eyes change color? Where are we? And wh- when are we? Where and 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 when are we? Ooh. It occurred to me to look at my surroundings. Probably something I should have done before asking about them. But in my defence, I was out cold. Beige walls, pink curtains, white beds with solid blue covers. This is indeed the school infirmary, no doubt about it. Oh my God, it's annoying. どうして？どうしてもこうしてもお前があんなところで倒れてたからここに連れてきてやったんじゃ。あんなところ。おいおいまだ具合悪いんじゃないのか？肛門だよ肛門。わ。肛門に。私そこに倒れてったの？そうだけど。Did you have the Do you have the pencil case with you？ 私確かに学校の中で吉江さんから逃げて。そうだ腕を怪我して。腕、なんともない。Ooh, ah. 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 Ah.
ほっとしたよ。こういうのって、虫の知らせって言うんだな。なんとなく気になって、お前んちに行ったら、お前のお母さんに学校に行ったって聞いてな。そしたら、あんなところに倒れてるんだもんな。スカサ君、あの。うんうん、まあとりあえず詳しい話は後で聞くからさちょっと待ってな。Wait, what? あ、what? What are you doing? 言っちゃった。よしえさんのこと聞こうと思ったのに。Why, guy? You should bluff to us the whole time. シシドさん、目が覚めたのね。Oh. 先生、oh. 驚いたわよ。ミクニ君が結層会で私を呼びに来るんだもの。私が当直でよかったわね。Oh. ご迷惑をおかけしてすみません。それはいいのよ。でも、あなたずいぶんなされていたから、悪い夢でも見てたんじゃない悪い夢、oh. そうよ。ミクニ君もすごく心配してたわよ。Oh. そうだ。やっぱり、きっと悪い夢なんだ。昼間に怖い話とか聞いちゃったし、so、you... ともかくもう大丈夫はいわさあよかったわ Are you gonna turn to Yoshie? Then I smile cheerfully and disappear behind the partitioning curtain Lenny out of sight I lay myself down on the bed once more It was dead silent the rain must have let up The only sound I heard was an occasional cough from the nurse who was otherwise going about her business quietly. Oh, so you have a pen case? Yeah. I thrust my hands into my pocket, not really expecting to find it, but. And there's the twist. I knew it'd be something like this. I knew it'd be something like this. The pen case, complete with his cousin's pencil talisman inside, was present and accounted for. Which meant that. やっぱり教室には行ったんだやっぱり夢じゃない、hmm. おーい、oh, you're back. I thought you were gonna kill yourself with the spirit あ、カサ君、おかえりえ Or maybe it's a cousin went and got her pencil case Now, I'm still trying to remember the exact details about what happened when I unexpectedly felt something cold pressed against my cheek Oh, she went to the vending machine. Yay! Sakasa went out of his way to buy this just for me. It's a lovely gesture. How could I possibly refuse? From the clearing, from the clearing in the school with baby bearing powers. Oh, my God. Ash, t a t o y a m o k o k a Say, say, no, she can, t h o n a n j i k a r a Oh, God. Ato y o j i k a n a Did I? Oh, God. I've been put through hell on earth. Taking a test was the, was the furthest thing from my mind. I was in tears and I had no idea why. Maybe it was because I was so relieved, so glad to be alive. <laughs> よし。なあ、シシド、起きれるかえちょうどいいから、お前にいいもの見せてやるよ。おお、is it a baby? いいもの ?is it a baby?did the baby bearing chair finally give a baby? おお、そうだな、むしろ、お前には見てほしいんだ。<gasps> a baby sprouted on the chair, I knew it! My nose was still running, but my heart felt a lot lighter. I no longer felt threatened by this school. I was comfortable and safe. I heard the music. It reminds me of、um, this one RuneScape music. I mean, everyone says RuneScape music is like, bad, but like, some, some pieces I quite like and it's quite soothing. The two of us left the nurse's office with Shikasa in the lead, and even though I was holding a cold coffee in my hand, I still felt warm all over. I'm gonna. I want to listen to that PGM. Yeah.
Anyway, that's enough. That's enough. The two of us left the nurse's office to discuss and indeed, and even though I was hiding a cold coffee in my hand, holding a cold coffee in my hand, um, I still felt warm all over. All over. Neither of us said a thing as he led me through the empty halls. It occurred to me that when we last saw one another, I was mad at him. What? She said, "Take that off." Huh? Oh, this is the end of the road. Oh, well, well, it's just a little bit. Just a little bit? What is that? Curious. I have no idea what I was looking for. Me neither. I just kept staring at him, but his eyes were fixed on the window leading out into the hall. Uh, walkway. As I gazed upon him in, in profile, I felt. Oh my God! I can't read. I felt my heart skip a beat. But I just wasn't sure what to say. I let my feelings get the better of me and reprimanded him for behaviour that was, at least at the time, entirely reasonable. There was more to it than that, though. There was one particular reason, more than any other, that made it hard for me to think of the words to say here. He and I had run from Yoshie together. We escaped to Wrath against insurmountable odds. And what if that wasn't all just a dream? Or what if that wasn't all just a dream? Is she? Is he gonna like fade away now and turn into a ghost? And it's like, I, I need to show you something. I'm actually a ghost. What? What? I follow Sakasa's pointing finger and. すごい。すごい。ああ。俺ここでよく夕日を眺めてるんだけどさ。朝日もいいもんだな。綺麗だよ。街がオレンジに染まっていく。お、元気出てきたな。ここって司君の言ってた例の場所だよね。今までその別に。Really now. I could think of a reason, but I didn't say anything. Maybe they did go through it together. Maybe Skasa was bluff, um, bluffing um, like afterwards. It just seemed kind of far-fetched to me, and if I were misinterpreting him, be very, I'd be very embar embarrassed. He couldn't possibly, could he? My face felt kind of warm. I placed the sweaty cafe, cafe au lait can on my cheek and sighed softly. What's that? Your face is red. Ah ha 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 ha. Wait, um, let's get a shot of that. Still bad, isn't it? そんなことないよ。その、ほら、朝日が赤い線。ああ。ready。なるほど。ready。ready。ボイスがみそいでんさんたんす。ははは。試験頑張れよ。今からすぐ戻って準備すれや。間に合うだろ。ありがとう。司
As the bright rays of the sun washed over me, I felt new life and new hope welling up from within. And I finally came to terms with these horrid events. Okay, the school nurse said she was working late, but nobody works to 5 a.m. So that's why maybe, like, Tsukasa is, was um, bluffing, obviously. I think it's really obvious that um, he was bluffing. Most likely, I got the pen case without incident. But then on my way back, something hit my head and knocked me out. That would be just my luck. Huh? Ooh, kiss? I didn't know what he was planning to do, but he was staring right at me. It felt like... It felt kind of like he was staring into my soul. And then... Slowly, Skasa drew his face towards mine. <gasps> Yay! Oh my god. Is he gonna, like, vanish just before um, he kisses her? Shishido. No way, right? I shut my eyes, I was ready for this. Or maybe I just didn't want to look. But the next sensation I felt wasn't quite the one I was expecting. Shishido, this <laughs> okay? Oh god. Oh god. Oh, I should have expected that. I should. I really should have expected... I really should have expected that. He grabbed my arm for some reason and I was staring down at it intent intently. Oh, that was the scar, right? Turns out he was just concerned by the strange bruise I had apparently received, which had momentarily become visible when I raised my arms. It was right around my elbow, right where Yoshie had grabbed me in my dream. Ooh, memory wipes are the best, aren't they? Kedo? Uh, it's just one of those things that usually usually happens. Like you think you forget about it, but it actually happened and stuff. Give me a right smile. I gently pull my arm from his grip. Ne, Tsukasa-kun. Huh? Kaeru mai ni hitotsu onegai ga aru nda kedo. Ooh, nanda yo? Pencil? De, tsunai demo i? They already are, though. Sort of. Te? Mm. Te. Okay. 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 So what happened to Tsukasa then? And it's nearly two hours. Oh my god. Wait, I'm gonna pause here and just start another recording. But oh my god. I am still gonna finish this in the same episode though. This is way too late to start a new episode now. I feel like the ending is really close. So yeah. I'll be right back. Okay, let's find out what happens. Um, we ha are finally done with the flashback. But we still don't know what happened to Tsukasa. Uh, but let's see. Yui sensei! Yui sensei! Tsukasa Yui sensei te ba! Okay. I knew I heard that voice before, but who was it? Was I just dreaming? Again? I still felt like I was holding Tsukasa's hand though. Yui sensei te! Te! Huh? Oh, are you finally awake now? Hmm? Uh -huh. Did, I... Did her expression change? <laughs> Yay. I was still dazed, I had no idea what was going on. All I knew was that one of my students, Satoshi Moshida, was here and he looked concerned. There's a six year age gap between you, which technically isn't that big. Like, if you think about it, some celebrities right now have wives that that have such a huge age gap that it wouldn't be. I, I'm not even gonna finish that for. 
あのゆい先生いい加減手をえあら I finally realized, realized that what he was talking about. I was holding much of his hand in my own and squeezing it awfully tightly. Oh, she still has the scar. She still has the scar where Yoshie grabbed her. Oh my god. これでも昔はか弱く儚かない美少女として巷に名を馳せたものだけど。えっと、それどこから突っ込んでいいの、うん、手厳しいわね。わしは絶対に。He and I got along well, and we were already falling back into our usual pattern of good natured ribbing. Except... ちょっと待って。どうして持ちたくがうちにいるのそれさっき話したじゃん。その調子じゃ何も覚えてないんでしょ何もさっき俺の作ったおかゆ食って薬飲んでまた寝たじゃないかその時話したのに本当に綺麗さっぱり覚えてない全然<笑>ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハああ。開いてた、うん、今回ばかりは開いてて助かったけどでも今後はちゃんと閉めないとダメだからなえ気をつけるわおお、maybe she locked it and um スカサ actually did come and maybe left and locked the door but then you didn't realize and then suddenly she found the open door maybe なんで笑うの持ちだく私のお母さんみたいだから。Oh my god. うわ、複雑。<笑> I didn't mean to laugh. I must have seemed kind of deranged, but I could always blame it on the fever. w a t c h e looked at me and let out another sigh. My poor sense of humor must have been getting to him. <sighs> でもまあ、だいぶ元気になってきたみたいで、よかったよ。<laughs> <laughs> So, me t a u t But you're obviously gonna end up dying when you go back to Heavenly Host. So, ne, Tashka, Kessa, Kaze de me, my gashte, Gakoni, o y a s m i n de m o s t e m o n e c h a n g o h a y o i s t e So, k o k a r a s a k i n o k i o k a n i n o ne. And then you must have collapsed. c o m b i n i t a n j a n i Oh. Oh,、uh, so maybe Tsukasa did.、Uh, right. So Tsukasa must have brought in the. Ah! 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 コンビニ行ったこと覚えてないの<笑> ?I think that was s u k a s a もうしっかりしてくれよ。まさかパジャマで出かけたりしてないよな。そんなことはないと思うけど。どうかな
Where is this guy? 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 And I definitely gained a new respect for him. Okay, I'm not sure what I'm doing. 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 Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, so he wants to see if he can eat something better than this. Yes, but he's not. Oh, nice. If it ever seemed like he was going to be staying late after school, maybe I'd buy him dinner. That works. <laughs> or I could help him with preparations for the school festival. Ah, that's why you were staying there then. Oh, no. And then they did the surgical charm and they. Ah. Oh, that's good. I'm going to go you're sick. As in, as in literally sick. Mada Honcho Shijanindashi. Daichi Yomicho, Oma no Hitori de Arukante. He can die. Mhm. Mochida Kun, why, yes, I see me. So you took a cune to show. He looks a bit more childish in this one, though. I have, to, I have to say, it's like his hair's effect is making him look a little bit more childish. Because uh, you remind her of Tsukasa. Osha and I joke like this a lot. Usually it made him blush and get adorably embarrassed. But not today. Today he just grinned sheepishly with a mischievous glint in his eyes. I didn't quite get it. What's this angle? Tsukasa kun te. Dare. Sensei no koi Yui sensei neteru toki. Zutto sono hito no koto yonde ta yo. Una sare nagara nando mo. Tsukasa kun, tsukasa kun te. Ah, maybe now we'll find out what happened to him. Dare nanda yo. The craft, that crafty much that had turned the tables on me. And how embarrassing. How embarrassing to know that I've been calling Skasa's name. <laughs> I hesitated to answer for a moment, but then figured, what the hell? Why not? Yay, there we go. And they fell in love on the bench that with magical baby powers. And somehow lived happily ever after holding hands looking at the sunset. Sono Yosuja Yui Sensei wa Yopodo Sono Hito no Kotoga Ski dat Tanda ne Date Yui Sensei is so confused. No, she got so confused, so cute. Yada I think this is basically the happiest chapter in the Corpse Party's um, thing so far in this game so far. Definitely in this game so far. Ooh, you're getting defensive. Nah, <laughs> Well, they only have a six year difference. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, that's not a lot. <laughs> I wasn't sure he was ever going to give me the full story of all the embarrassing things I've done in my fever days. And maybe it was better he didn't. 
Otherwise, I was in his depth, so he could tease me all he wanted, just this once. うっと、やばい。そろそろ帰らないと。ゆかがカンカンだ。ははは。今日はありがとうね。もう暗いから気をつけて帰るのよ。はい。それじゃあ先生、食事をきちんととって頑張って早く直してくれよ。Well, after you graduate, it's like a year, you can do it. All you want. But what happened? We don't never find out what happened to Sukasa. Seriously? Oh god. It's like I I played through this whole thing, I wanted to get through this in one episode, just finding out what happened to Sukasa, but then it's like this, we never find find out. And yeah, it was like two extra hours added onto my previous episode. So this is gonna be like oh my god, it's gonna be three and a half hour episode. Oh, holy crap. And it's, and it's just mostly dialogue. I mean, there, was, there wasn't that many choices. I mean, I was waiting to be like able to play it. That's why I kept going. Because otherwise it would be like Narcissus and it's like weird. But um, anyway, that not to say that the story wasn't good. I mean, I, 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 I'm, I'm obviously glad this, this, this chapter for at least had a happy ending. Although Yui doesn't really get a happy ending. Uh, but let's not dwell on that. But um. Yeah. Anyway, that was chapter three of Corpse Party Book of Shadows. Unintentionally, unintentionally doing this in one episode. This is gonna take literally like a week to upload or something. I don't know. But yeah, so that was chapter three. Thanks very much for watching. If you have any feedback or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment. I think I'm gonna take a break before I do chapter four and just get everything sorted out, everything edited, everything's done, and then yeah, and then I'll start on chapter four like probably next week which is in two days because today is a friday but yeah anyway thanks for watching i'll see you in the next episode and yeah bye